What's up guys, Tao here. Follow Apple's few hardware announcement on the 18th of March 2020. On the same day, Apple also announced the iPadOS 13.4 and iOS 13.4 Golden Master Edition, which means unless anything big has changed, so the Gold Master Edition will be the final version of the system. So today, let me just show you what the iPad OS 13.4 Golden Master on the iPad Air 2. Now, I have been doing quite a few videos on this iPad Air 2. If you are interested, please subscribe and follow the video, and there will be more video coming in the future. In this video, we will be focusing on three main areas. One is overall performance or the everyday tasks. So that's what most people care about on this, uh, especially on the iPad Air 2. Second is the battery life. I think most people will be interested to see what is the battery life on this five years old, uh, over five years old iPad Air 2 with the latest system. And the third one is, I think many people will be happy to see is officially support um, Apple Magic Trackpad and Apple Magic Mouse 2. Now, I don't have the Magic Mouse 2, but essentially is the same scenario as the trackpad. So I think many people are gonna be happy with it and there will be a lot of a keyboard and trackpad together for the future iPads. All right, in terms of performance, overall, actually to my surprise, it's doing really, really well. Even when you do multitasking with all those apps open, it handles really well. I didn't really experience any major lags. In fact, um, there's no lags so far I've been using. Only occasion is when you actually run the game as the foreground. If you have quite a few apps open at the background, occasionally you may experience different lags there and here and there, but there's no major issue. Now, because of this old hardware with a newer system, I believe the newer system actually take advantage of the hardware, whatever this iPad Air 2 can offer, a 2X Max. Um, maybe that's why the performance, it didn't really feel that laggy. However, with all of those apps running at the same time, now the battery will suffer dramatically, especially when you play games with a multitasking at the same time, that's where you will feel battery drain very, very quickly. But otherwise, the iPad Air 2 perform is extremely well. Now, in terms of the battery life, I'm pretty sure you guys who has the iPad Air 2 will be more interested in the battery life. Now, here I did a test, uh, as I always do, with the Geekbench. Here is the battery score. Now, here is the latest one, a score of 3,400. A last, uh, tell me, yeah, let's see uh, how long this thing lasts. It lasts 5 hours and 40 minutes. So the score actually is, is okay. Um, understandably, from and a half years old Air 2, I do not expect batteries getting better. So in my experience with different betas and with previous iOS or iPadOS versions, the battery is gradually uh, going down with each update. So in my opinion, this is kind of expected. I would not expect a five and a, year, five and a half years old iPad battery again. So it doesn't matter how efficient the system is. So eventually a battery is gonna suffer. So if you do consider um, upgrading new iPad, please do. So if you do need that extra power, go for it. But if you just want to use the Air 2 as a secondary or if you do basic things, generic things or everyday tasks, it performs really, really well. To see what's draining the battery, you simply head to setting and there's an option called the battery just like on your phone. Now here you can see what is draining the battery the most. So to be fair, within the beta 5, so I just leave everything as it is, turn on notification, leave it, it actually lasted about seven days. However, as soon as I start using the iPad, it actually lasts about two days. So that's a mixture of a lot of news, a lot of videos within the news and the YouTube and Safari stuff. So it lasts about two days. Now today actually is quite a lot of usage. So therefore the battery drains pretty quick. So if you do wanna see what is draining the battery, 
head to the battery session within setting, that will tell you exactly what is happening in your system. Right, one of the many new features within the 13.4 system update, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will agree with me, is ability to use trackpad and the magic mouse for those Apple lovers who has them. However, I think my favorite change within the new system is the way they change the cursor. So if you remember during the uh, before the iOS 13.4 is a big circle with a dot in the middle, it's quite big. It doesn't really classify as a mouse cursor. But now on the 13 in the 13.4 system, now the cursor is much much better in my opinion. So we actually if you move the cursor to the certain app icon it's automatically recognized the app, so the cursor will disappear. For example, like this. If you move on to an app, it's kind of just be a part of it. And then if you want to move on to next, you do the same. Now, also it support the gestures. You can use two finger to scroll left and right. If you have multiple pages and three finger swipe up is to go home. Or if you swipe up and stop, that's the app switcher. Now, the way to pair the Bluetooth device it's a lot easier compared to the version before. We simply head to the Bluetooth section and just switch on the Bluetooth and pair it. So as soon as you pair it, the mouse will come on the screen. If you don't use it, it will disappear. Now, if you do want to change the setting, so you, what you can do, so if you go into general, so there are a option trackpad. If you connect to trackpad, we have option says trackpad. If you have a mouse, we have options as mouse. If you have a keyboard, now the way to change the keyboard setting, you need to go into the keyboard. If you have something physically connected, there will be a option says hardware keyboard. So if you do want to change setting, that's where to go. All right, that's been it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully this video helps you to decide either you want to update to the latest 13.4. Now, if you do have any questions or your own experience with the system, please leave the comment down below so we can share with other iPad Air 2 users so we can keep this community going. Please subscribe to the channel. In the future, anything to do with the Air 2, I will be uploading and hopefully you guys will get benefit out of them. Yep, yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.